You're with the News 5 tonight. Now, with one more day of electioneering left tomorrow, the People's Action Party candidate Kopo Kun says he feels the campaign momentum has been strong. Backed by PAP leaders and members during the campaign, Dr. Koh says this exhibits the solidarity of the party. Friday is cooling off day where canvassing is prohibited. PAP's Dr. Ko has been actively interacting with residents to let them know what he's capable of achieving if elected. Speaker of the House Halima Yaakob, who turned up to support Dr. Ko's campaign, says he will no doubt help make a difference to the lives of Singaporeans. I'm really confident that if once Pokun is elected as a member of parliament, he will pursue those issues with rigour and with great passion because he is a man that believes strongly in those issues, whether it is the elderly, whether it is the poor, whether it is a, a, a families and children, most certainly I am certain that he will have the passion to push those issues. Refuting the opposition's accusations that the ruling party has not provided enough help for senior citizens, Madam Halima says the government had in fact announced a slew of measures from setting up more senior group homes to offering grants to help the elderly. Despite the opposition's deliberate attempt to focus voters' attention on national issues, PAP's Dr. Cole Po Kuhn, however, insists on keeping it local. That's because he feels that municipal issues are still of primary concern to residents. However, he says if elected, he'll certainly champion macro issues such as for the elderly and young families in Parliament. Continuing with his campaign, Dr. Ko is heartened to note that residents have warmed up to him considerably. Over the last few days, the visibility for who I am, what I stand for and what I'm championing has become much clearer. And uh, of course, with the support of the rest of the party members, I feel much more energised and, uh, and it is, I think the momentum is really going very strong. Dr. Ko emphasised that this by-election is about finding the best person to serve the residents' needs and not to better the interests of a political party. His comments come on the back of the Workers' Party's call to increase the number of opposition members in Parliament. Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien also weighed in on the issue via a Facebook post. He said the Workers' Party has not offered credible alternatives and avoided taking a stand on major issues such as population and foreign workers unlike the PAP and Mr. Tio added that having another Workers' Party MP will not help the quality of debate and decision-making for Singapore.